Hey guys, in this video I would like to show you the new Android 4.1.2 firmware for the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is leaked official firmware. I got this ROM from XGA developers. It is an unmodified rooted ROM. I will put the link in the description below. Um, let me show you the version. So as you can see there, Android 4.1.2 and it's got all of the other usual information such as the build number. I would now like to show you some of the new features. The first new feature I'd like to show you is called um, multi-view or multi-window. Um, so you basically get this sidebar. Um, this was first released in the Galaxy Note 2. So this is sort of the second device to get it. Whoops. So basically how this works is I could open one application, let's say Google Chrome for example. And then I could open up another application at the same time, let's say YouTube. So I get YouTube, I drag it to the bottom there, and I have now got two applications open at once. I personally don't think that the screen is big enough on this device to properly multitask, though I think that this feature would be, you know, great on um, Samsung tablets. So I'm personally going to keep this feature disabled, I'm sure a few people would use it. The second thing you will notice is the two new options here. We have all share cast and we have multi window. You can actually customize the bar um, in Android 4.1.2. Let me show you. Um, I'm pretty sure that you go to display notification panel and see you can actually drag and drop it. So for example, I could um, say I don't want multi window. So I hold it down and drag it. And I could say, you know, that I wanted S-Beam instead. That's just an example, but that's pretty neat how you can now customize it. The next feature I'd like to show you is called Page Buddy. Um, it's a bit hard to explain how this works. So um, let me show you. I've currently got earphones page configured. So basically, when I plug in a pair of earphones, it is going to automatically come up on this earphone page you know, with um, the controls to play, pause, music, etc. Um, I'm not sure how useful it is, though I haven't really given it a good try yet. Also, whilst this is enabled, there are a few recommended shortcuts for the earphones, you know, such as the phone, YouTube, the music app, the video app, etc. So, you know, that's a neat feature. You don't have to use it, though. It's basically another feature from the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, now, what's another feature I can show you? They have also added something called um, Smart Rotation. Ah, uh, yeah, it's basically called Smart Rotation. This um, should also be underneath display. So what you need to do is you need to enable Auto Rotate Screen and you also need to enable Smart Rotation. If you have ever used your smartphone in bed and, you know, slightly turned it to the side, then you would know that the Auto Rotate feature is um, very annoying. So what this basically does is the front facing camera looks at your eyes to see, you know, how you're looking at the mobile. So it should make it a little bit more accurate, the whole, um, you know, auto rotate feature. Uh, now, what else can I show you? I can show you the new keyboard. So let me, they have also got another link here, which I quite like. They've got a link called new message. So you can create a new message um, straight away, which I think is pretty nice. Um, so I have enabled continuous input for the default keyboard. So this is um, basically Swipe or Samsung's version of Swipe because this is the Samsung keyboard. So hello, my name, whoops. So as you can see, it is pretty accurate. Um, so yeah, it's basically a swipe keyboard built into the Samsung keyboard. They have also added a few different apps from the Galaxy Note. Uh, so let me show you what else have they added. I believe that they have added one called Paper Artist, if I can find it. Um, I'm not completely sure how this app works. I'm pretty sure, you know, it's just a drawing app, basically. Though it looks um, pretty neat. Uh, they have also added the um, gallery found on the Galaxy Note, which I think is pretty good. So as you can see, there's a completely different view, which I really like. Um, and, you know, basically when you click on a folder, this is basically how it looks like. 
you can sort of show and hide the so, um, sidebar and scroll up and down the sidebar. Do I think that this um, new gallery or the gallery um, from the Galaxy Note 2 is definitely a major improvement? Um, so that's pretty much it for the new OM, well, those are the major new features that I have noticed. There's also a new app called Snap and Go. I'm not sure how that works. I think you need to install an application on your computer. So it's probably going to be like Dropbox. You take a picture and it automatically uploads it to your computer. I'm not too worried about that. And for some reason, I have also got a Jewish calendar which was included in the ROM. So this um, ROM might have been from, you know, a different region or a region which includes the Jewish calendar. So that's not a big deal, I can just um, hide it or get rid of it with um, titanium backup. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this um, video. Um, I definitely think that, you know, it's a good update. Um, it's a substantial update. So, you know, the main new features are obviously um, multi-view, um, page buddies all right. The new notification panel, how you customise it, that's a major feature. The new um, smart rotation feature, you know, could come in handy. Um, the, you know, improved keyboard, I, I will probably continue to use Swift Key 3 and the new gallery app is good. So yeah, that is um, pretty much it for this video. Tell me what you think of the ROM, are you going to flash it? Um, as I said, the um, guide to the XTA developers um, forum thread is in the description below. Click the like button if you like this video. Um, subscribe if you want to see future videos like this and thanks for watching.